are back. Last time we left off, we even got a new team member. And yes, I realized that I totally had a drillber posted it since episode 9. Even though it was evolved by then, I fixed it for the last one, and that shouldn't happen again, crossing the fingers. And I also put it on, like, the discussion tab, so that if anybody is confused, probably should look at that first. Um, I mean, I can't really go back and edit them all out, but, yeah, I realized since last episode, every single one of our teammates has a minus special defense nature. And this is the full team. I mean, that probably is not the best, but there's nothing you can really do about it. Yeah, by the way, I gave this thing strength so it could just shore up Nova's uh, HM slot. Because we don't need cut anymore. The only thing that we really need on a time-to-time -time basis for these places is um, strength and surf. And yes, this is going to be definitely a shorter episode. If it gets to 40 to 50 minutes, cool. If it gets to 20 minutes, I'm not going to be extending it for God knows how long. I'm not going to... Today is just going to be a flow episode. Basically, whatever happens, happens. That's basically what the agenda of today's episode is going to be. We're going to just be exploring this cave, and then we're going to go back for one other thing. For, um... To get something for bacon bits. And then that's the end of this episode. I mean, it might even be 16 minutes for all I know. Full me care. So I'm probably going to have no cuts in it either, just to make it a little bit, uh... Fat here. And yeah, I was leveling this thing up, and yeah, I know, I didn't get to show you guys the name process of it, but to be honest, if you want to see me go to Castelia City and go to the name Raider again, I mean, knock yourself out, but really don't think it was uh, of utmost importance. Okay. So now, we go talk to this guy. Chase can dream, and I'm fighting for a victory. Okay, fight for victory. Yeah, um... Yeah, nothing really changed. I mean, I leveled up this thing, and that took forever. I mean, at least I'm not recording this and until 2 o'clock in the morning. I mean, that's, a, that's an A for effort, because, spoilers, yesterday I... Yesterday I recorded it? But it took three hours in order for it to get posted. Three. So I would just like to... Yeah, I'm just gonna stop myself all in the head, but I'm just very thankful for that. I hope you realize I'm being totally sarcastic. Well, you know what? Now that I'm actually thinking, there's gonna be one other thing that I will be doing. Here, at least. There is one other thing that I know for a fact that I want to do. So let me actually... Before we get too far ahead, I'm actually going to put um, Cable up in front. We're going to see why in a second. Before we do what I was saying, though. Yep. KJ found a Hyper Potion. And found a max repel. Uh. Wait, shoot, I went the wrong- Actually, no, I didn't go the wrong way. And since last episode, I put, like, the super repels up to the top, so I don't need to keep going constantly down just to, uh, find them. And we go over here. 
or we go up here, I should say. It's a big boulder. Would you like to use strength? Guillotine, use strength. Bop. And now we go up here. We throw that rock in. We throw that rock in. Another repel of war off of Swell. You know, whatever, use this max repel. And they also bought um, a couple revives, a couple ultra balls. And as you see there, I bought like a lot of repels. So, hard stone, that boosts the power of rock type moves by 20%. So, I mean, if I ever wanted a boost for Kara Costa's ancient power and or um, underminers rock slide, that could be a possibility. And this is what I was... Uh, looking for tm80 rock slide immediately and i mean immediately gonna be teaching this to crash because uh ancient power is good and all but that five power points man not gonna be so swell really crash has been getting an immeasurable boost they got an evolution it has two great moves and uh surf and rock slide now it's actually Turning into a really good Pokemon. Okay, found an iron. Let's go up here. Oh, who's this guy? I saw your skill. It's impressive for someone you're young. Maybe you're one. Hmm, it may be possible. How's about it? Would you listen to an old man's story? In a distant past, when Pokemon and people lived in different worlds, a war between people started with an intense fire in the forest where many Pokemon lived. The Pokemon were surrounded by, surrounded by smoke and flames. They were in big trouble. And then, the legends, legendary Pokemon, Cobalion, Terrakion, and Virizion appeared. Terrakion used its amazing strength to destroy rocks, blocking the escape route. Virizion used its quick movements to protect Pokemon from looming flames, and Cobalion led the fighting Pokemon out of the burning woods. The people who started the war were rooted by the power of legends. Because of that, Cobalion, Terrakion, and Virizion, the war was ended. When people fight, there's no peace for Pokemon either. The three legends learned that the deeds of humans could lead to dire consequences for their world. They could cut themselves off from the people and disappear. No one saw much of them after that, and the three faded into myth. I've been searching for them for decades, and I finally figured out one of them was deep into this cave. But the legendary three do not trust people entirely. People approach, they bear their fangs and attack! It can't be helped because they only know the old world, but still don't know a world that has became a place where people and Pokemon try to understand and help each other. You seem like you might be able to show them that people and Pokemon can trust each other and live together. If they can take another look at people, I think they might stop hiding for hiding from us. Before we uh, go a little farther into here. Ah, dang it. Uh, oh yeah. What was I thinking? I want to quickly grab this item. A dusk stone. So I, I think Lamp Pen evolves into its next evolution with the dusk dusk stone. Don't quote me on that. I'm um, possibly. And another revive. I'm not really sure, though. As you see on the top left, there's a... There's something up there. Something up there for... Look at that little thing. It's like... It's doing a little dancey dance. Dancey dance? That sounds not epic. Uh, oh my god, repel. <sighs> I think you press the select, or yeah, I press the select. What's it called? I've used my 3DS for so long, it's like imprinted. Not like imprinted, but. Whatever the. I think it's select. 
Cabrar. Before we do something, I just gotta do one thing. Okay, there we go. Yeah, sorry, somebody called me again. I really gotta put my phone on silent. You know what? Yeah, I'll do that later. Cabrar. Yep, we are fighting our first legendary Pokemon only 14 episodes in. Yep. Unexpected, right? Well, anyway, Cobalion is a interesting Pokemon. Not gonna say unique because Lucario beat it out in the typing. It is a steel and fighting type. Yes, siree, it is one of the not unique fighting types out there. And this is why Unova is known as the fighting type generation where they throw every single mother of a fighting type into this game. They have four legendary fighting types, and I mean four, and this is only one of them. This thing has mixed stats. It is a mixed attacker with a really good speed stat, not the best, a decent speed stat, and a massive defense stat. The only thing that kind of lacks is its special defense, but at the same time, on the flip side, it learns Calm Mind, and Calm Mind boosts your special attack and your special defense. So, if you learn that, on Cobalion, it would shore up its one, and one of its few weaknesses, and it will go on a rampage with the special attacking set. It can also go with the physical attacker set, because it has access to Swords Dance as well. So this thing is kind of the jack of all trades, and its typing is good too, and this game still didn't have the ghost and dark weakness or dark neutrality that it had in the next generation, so it still was a pretty good defensive typing. So, if you ever need to bulk something or do something entirely like that, Cobalion was for you. So, it's a little bit weaker than Lucario, just in terms of its attacking stats, but what it makes up for that is its versatility, which is probably the best versatile steel fighting type out there. Able to run defensive sets, the physical attacking sets, special attacking stats, you name it, this Pokemon will run it. Okay, stop talking, let's paralyze this thing. Hey, it has retaliate. And I'm dead. Well, that went great. Um, hmm. Okay, bacon bits, time for you to shine. I'm gonna actually hit her with the heat crash. And it also, I forgot to say, actually has some really good coverage type moves. Like, I, I think it has Rock Slide. Sacred Sword is one of the unique moves that they have too. It's a really powerful fighting type move. I think it has a chance to lower a defense. Yeah, you do. Or what does it do? I don't remember. Okay, that was, uh, that was perfect. And yeah, I also uh, stocked up on some Ultra Balls beforehand. Just in case if this went uh, completely bad. Wait a minute. Not! Uh, retaliate. Yep, he's dead. Okay! Haha! -ha. Yeah, that happened. Oh, Bacon Bits really is bulky. HP bulk to the win. So, it has Sacred Sword, it has Iron Head, I think it has some other special attacking moves. It has Flash Cannon, which is a really good steel special attack. I actually used it on, um, Empoleon back in the day. Whoop! Back in the day. Yeah. Oh, memories. Oh, sweet memories. Sacred Sword is still powerful as always. It has Sword Dance. It, it does have some very good um, moves, and that typing really doesn't get balls by a lot. The only thing I could kind of think of is a steel or flying type. Steel and flying type combination. Steel and ghost. Yeah, that would totally wall it. But, thank god for no steel ghosts yet, and yep. Okay, again. Ouch. Okay, you know what? Time to throw in a timer ball. See if this will work. Come on. Aha. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hey, hey! Cobalion was caught! 
And yep, I am not using any legendaries in this game as well. I just want to let you guys be clear. I want to be clear with that. Um, I'm not going to care if the nature is like poop or something. I I'm not caring about that. Um, it seems thanks to you, Cobalia, in a sense of change in the world. A world where people and Pokemon help each other and live together. I believe Cobalia wants to remain by you and travel by your side. The fact that you battle Cobalia and, and you're related to each other should be easily communicated to Rakion and Verizion because the close bond between the three. I'm sure they'll also give you a chance to prove their worth. The obstacles that separate Rakion and Verizion for people are probably gone now. Wherever it's up to you to search them is... For search... To... To search for those two is up to you, but they are definitely waiting for you. Please tell me I have an escape rope. Please. If not, I'm literally teaching dig quickly. Instead of, like, rock slide. Aha, I have one. I should actually probably stock up on those because we're gonna go into some few dungeons soon. Okay. So Cable uh, was kind of useless, which I mean, kind of expected. It's a legendary first, a first stage. It's still a critical hit, man. Come on. When it gets to level 38, I'm gonna use that rare candy that I acquired in the cave to um, to level it up. And then at level 39, it will be evolving. Spoiler alert. Into something, and then I'm going to use the heart scales on them to replace it. And I also... Yeah, I also am right now. I just want you guys to see this and how it works. I'm still going to keep flying Atlantis, but I am actually going to go over back to Mistralton City. And I'm going to actually teach a light screen... Instead of uh, Flash. Because I realized that this whole entire team, as I've said at the start of this episode, is all weak to um, special. Or all has minus special defense dangers. And Light Screen has a plus special defense for the whole entire team. So I feel like it will be something that can be used. Okay, it's okay. Forget the move flash and light screen has been reacquired. I th how many heart scales do I have left? I have one. I need to see how I get them in this game because I, I don't remember. Because I'll definitely be needing them soon for uh for a little old cable. Next stop, we're actually going to go, we're actually going to be going extremely far back to Nacarine City. Which, this is a far place. And then, we're going to go a little backtrack, I'll say. To see the old sights, to see the old sights and uh, admire them again. Pell's effect wore off. Okay, I don't need it right now. And now, we go in here. Yeah, we're going back to where we caught our level old underminer. Oh, it's been such a long time. Uh, now we are going to use that. I also said uh l and r you can like go to the top or the bottom of the item bag respectively up is l down is r and you're like hey there's a pokeball over here an elixir no that's what i'm not getting that's something entirely different this is what i want no this is not what i want forget what i just said oh you mother Let me see the map for this. I'll be back. Okay, back. So, first and foremost. Not using Flash, because I am not wasting a hard scale. 
So, I just took a look at a guide. And these are the things that I want. Literally, if you ever follow this, just follow my exact movements and you will be perfectly fine. Except that movement. That movement, no, you don't do. You go up here. TM for Focus Blast. Yeah, I, I was totally not focusing on that. No pun intended. Dang it, I can't see. I might have to take a millisecond break just for a second just to see where I'm going. Okay, that's a ripple effect in a water, and if you go on top of that, you fight a Pokemon in the water. I mean, it's a level 15 Basculin, so... I'm just gonna kill with Cable to get some XP. Okay. Yep, and there's a trainer over here. So we're fighting him, yep. I will we'll also show you guys Focus Blast in a second. Scraggy! Uh, let's do a Spark Attack. And, ouch. That didn't really do a lot. That would be like a four-hit KO. Let's see if Charge Beam can uh, switch the tide of the battle. Nope. And, yeah. Okay, Cable. Uh, I think I'll just be using that rare candy on you sooner than later. I might just, like, fight through a couple trainers, like, off-camera, I'm thinking. This cable really isn't doing a lot right now. But, nothing I can really do now, so I'll, I'll keep it in the back for later. Right now, I'll just throw up Atlantis in the front quick so we can get through this dungeon as quick as possible. Throw. I totally meant to do side beam, but you know, whatever. Ouch. And shoot. I got paralyzed. Uh oh. Got bulk up. Bulk up increases your attack and your defense stat by one. Which is pretty decent. Aha, I got him. Lantis is now level 38 and wants to learn the gravity, which I'm gonna keep my- I said I'm gonna keep my old moves. And give up on gravity. And suck. I think- I don't know if we've ever seen soccer throw. I mean, I don't know if I've ever explained them. But they are basically the fighting types that you get if you don't get Timber, and if you can't tr trade Evolution Timber. Because if you could trade Evolution Girder, I should say, sorry, Girder, if you could trade Evolution that, um, its Evolution is 100% superior to both of these Pokemon, Sock and Throw. But basically, these are the fighting type Pokemon that you can get if you do not have either a trade Evolution uh, option. Where Sock is the more, um, attacking more of an attacker, while Throw is more of a defensive Pokemon, I'll say. Like, Throw is a very high HP stat, decently high defenses, but a very good attack, but its speed is pathetic, pathetically low. While Sock has trades in that HP and some de some defenses, not all the defenses, for just a little bit, a lot more speed and a lot more attack. Well, not a lot more attack, a decent amount of attack. 
So really, none of them are bad. It's just, um... Just, you know, it could always be better. And plus, with Conkelder, or that's the evolution of a Conkelder. Yep. Even though it just slips. Uh, I hate it when I slip. When that Pokemon outclasses both of them 120,000 percent. And you're asking why? Sock has higher speed than it, does it not? Yeah. But. Kong Kelder can have so much more for so much more damage. And that means so much more than speed at for certain occasions. Okay. I'm just gonna put bacon bits up in front. By the way, focus blast, I gotta show that. Uh where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Aha! The user heightens its mental focus and unleashes its powers. This also may lower the target's special defense. It has 70% accuracy and 5 power points. It's good, but very unreliable. If you want to have a constant fighting spammy type move, if you have like a spammy attacker or spammy fighting type special attacker, possibly like, um... Like Cobalion, I mean, that could always be good for, like, a Calm Mind set. But, I mean, it's not going to be the best thing in the whole entire world. Uh, far from. But, there is going to be a move that will be much, much more usable than, um, than Rock Smash that we're going to acquire here as well, soon. After we defeat these three trainers, um, there's no more trainers here, at least, for, at least at this current time. And we'll be good on that angle. Then after that, we have one last thing to do, and then we're gonna call this episode quits. Garter fainted. And level 38 for bacon bits. Assurance. Nope. Throw again. Arter Miner is weak to it, but its powerful earthquake should put it in its place. By the way, the PP up I use on earthquake, so instead of 10 power points, now it has 12 power points. And never mind, it could somehow bulk an earthquake. Interesting. Underminer use Earthquake one last time. Come on. No. Shoot. Okay. You know, I'm just going to be extra safe just with another Earthquake. I could have done Metal Claw, Rock Slide, or even X Scissor, but either all of those are either A, unresisted, or not fully percent accuracy-wise. Even though Metal Claw is 95% accuracy, but still. I want to be 100% certain with 100% guarantee. So lastly, we just have Underminer, Cable, and Guillotine. Oh, Trainer, do you want to learn a bitter lesson? Okay, teach me, pray tell. What is this bitter lesson? Oh, another girder, because all these guys are going to be fighting type of users. Another Earthquake should do the trick. This thing might survive, yeah. I think it'll survive on either like extremely low red health or just get a clean to hit KO. Come on, okay, good. Good, good, good. And level 38. Suck. Come on, guillotine. Okay, Mold Breaker breaks the mold. That basically ignores all abilities. I'm gonna set up one Dragon Dance. Dragon Dance is a new move that I also acquired. I forgot to say that before. 
Um, and I also taught it X Scissor. And Strength. From our TM slash HM collection. Just temporarily until we get um, a bigger move set or a bigger move pool that we can have access to. Because this thing is a pure blooded physical attacker and not a special attacker in the least bit. So it's not going to be using really any special attacks for anything. So you just got to be careful with that. Okay, Dragon Claw one last time. It's out. Level 38 on Guillotine. Your Guillotine. And voila, I leveled it up to 37 for the whole entire team for a specific reason. Ta da! This thing's evolving. Ta da! Yep, Guillotine has evolved into Fracture. Now, lastly, we just have Cable. And fracture really isn't that bad. It has an extreme. Somehow, it's a point of attack under Embor, which kind of is confusing me. It's more attack even than a uh, effing crash. Jeez. I guess my team really likes physical attacks. Just realizing that now. Good thing is their special attacks, or any of the special attackers that I have, do not really have like really low um, special attack stats. Except Cable because it's the first evolution, but that's not the point. Trying to remember exactly where it is. That's something, but not what I want. Also another something, but still not what I want. By the way, that power that increases the power of water type moves by 20%. I would love to see, but at the same time, I am not wasting another um, thing. Or another heart scale, so... I think I surf on this... If I can't get this in like a second, I'll just look it up quick. You know, let me just look it up so I stop looking. I'll be back. Okay, so. I, right now, just went over. So, the entrance is right here. Right there. So, from this entrance, we go down. Uh, yeah, by the way, you can also press Y so that you can just insta look into a Pokemon. Which, I mean, that's handy at occasions, but really, I need to undo that. Dang it, I... I'll fix that after. But basically, we have to go down here. Go over here and get low sweep, which I'm immediately teaching to Embor. The user attacks the target's legs swiftly, reducing the target's speed stat. This is a 60 power move instead of rock slides. Kind of pitiful, um, 40 power move. So it's a lot better than Rock Smash. So this is kind of what the trip is for. Because our fighting type coverage is not really looking so swell. Alright, now...
I'm gonna use the escape rope to get out of here. And next, we are going to go over to... I'm trying to... <clears throat> Not Green City. Okay. Dang it! Okay, now if I press Y, nothing happens. Okay, good. Now we gotta run all the way over here. I will make your Pokemon healthy. Yep, I'm using this healer instead of the other healer, just because I felt like it. And if you remember, this path was formerly blocked off. And now it isn't. So, 2 and 1, baby. Hyper Potion. Before we go in here, I just gotta do one thing. Okay, saved it. Rumination field. Apuya! Dang, another one. And I'm letting you guys know this is the last one you're seeing for a long time. But I mean long, I mean like last gym long. This is Varizion. This is a grass and fighting. Unique at the time of this game. But the next generation, they completely disregard that first starter. Anyway. Verizion is a grass in fighting type. It is a mixed attacker. Kind of like Cobalion. Exactly has the same attack, same exact attacking stats as Cobalion. But instead of its physical defense being 128. Its special defense is 128. And it's also fast. Er, I think it's probably, I think it's actually as fast. All the Swords of Justice, all of them have the exact same speed stats. So, this means that it's basically more of a special defense wall. But, unfortunately, the typing really doesn't do it a blessing. Its physical defense is low, but unlike Cobalion, it doesn't have a way to rectify that defense. I mean, hey, you could throw in a substitute protect set and uh, try to stall out your guys with your massive special defense, but I don't really think that's going to do a whole entire world of good for you. So, I... This is still a extremely strong Pokemon. This is stronger than a lot of the grass types here that we're going to see in the universe. It's 100% stronger than Simisage, that's for damn certain. But it is definitely the weakest Sword of Justice uh, member. It is definitely that without a doubt. Though it could still hold its own, it has amazing coverage, it has Stone Edge, it has Leaf Blade, it has Close Combat, it has Sacred Sword. It, it does a lot of coverage and all up into one slot. Also it's Sword Stance, Calm Mind, as I said before, Substitute, Protect, uh, like every Pokemon is Protect and Substitute, but still. It is definitely something to consider if you do not have either A, a Grass, or a um, Fighting type. And it won't disappoint, but it isn't going to overwhelm, I'm going to say. I am switching out cable so it can actually live, because I would like it to live. So Atlantis time. Quad resist its fighting and resist its other stab. And now Psybeam time. And by the way, unlike the uh, trio from Sinnoh, yes, I am getting all the legendaries here because they actually are accessible without going through some stupid side quest first and foremost. I'm actually going to keep it like this for now. 
Um, I'm gonna chuck a couple Ultra Balls. If not, I'll start chucking Timer Balls. Because I think I'll kill it if I go any farther. And Air Cutter is quite weak against it. That's another thing with the typing. It's quite weak against flying. And even though it has coverage, it really isn't gonna do any wonders against flying types. I mean, if you find, like, something that even resists Rock, oh boy, you're screwed. That's a flying type, like, kind of like a Steeler flying. Or possibly, um, fighting flying type. Even Halucha, Halucha can even, like, shut this thing down. From 6th gen. Okay. I'm just, you know, fruit that I this, I'm spamming timer balls. Need to also find some more timer balls. That's something that I do need to be doing. Uh oh. You know what? I'm gonna actually try to get it lower a little bit. Probably with. I'm not gonna. I know this is stupid because it's grass type completely obliterates crash. Well, also fighting type doesn't really do any swell things. But I'm actually gonna try to chip it with some surfs and aqua jets. To get it down to at least a red percentile. Yep, perfect. Eh, not perfect. Yep, called it. And that was a critical. And, yep, it's... Okay, that was stupid. Uh, hmm. I'm actually looking at it now. If this thing doesn't get a crit, if Atlantis does not get a crit on its side beam, it'll be able to survive. Don't get a crit. Aha! Okay. Let's try another timer ball. Okay. Seriously? Ouch. Come on, timer ball. Timer ball. Timer ball. Oi, you mother! And now it's start timing to chuck these Ultra Balls. Ultra Ball time. Yep. Sacred Sword. Ouch. Okay, another... If it doesn't get in the next couple few, I'm just gonna pause it until I get it. Huh? On, you're capable. Okay, but... Oh. You can drain. Uh-oh. Yep. Dang it. I'm gonna... Keep having it to go on a... It's, uh... Or a little weaker grass typing because yeah it won't be able to use giga drain at least against my guy i'll probably keep spamming sacred sword you know i'll be back about 30 balls later pokeballs i got it it didn't want to go in it like the first time. I used all the timer balls, all my ultra balls are gone, and half of my great balls are gone. This thing did not want to get caught. And, uh, the team got hit for it. Let's go back over to Miss Stralton City. We need to quickly heal up. That's first and foremost. And that, actually, you know what, before we do that. Move. Okay, so let's see these stats. Brave. Plus attack, minus speed, god awful. The stat changes doesn't affect the... So basically, this just works no matter what. It doesn't even matter. 
So plus defense minus attack. I mean... So this thing's running a special tech set. Purely a special attacker. So... I mean, these definitely aren't the best legendaries, that's for certain. Not the best natures, but, you know, whatever. So. Next episode. I am going to level up um, our little old cable by one level. So the next episode to start off, we'll be having a new Pokemon and potentially another fully evolved team member. So I hope you guys like, comment, subscribe, do what all you guys do to make this channel the most popular it could possibly be. And I'll talk to you guys later.